welcome to my channel, Enchanted Ways. If this is your first time here, hello, I'm Danielle and I make videos on spirituality, witchcraft, and hoodoo. So if those topics interest you, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell. So today I am doing a quick video on my top five magical herbs. These are my go-to herbs and I use them pretty much in every single spell almost I have to like force myself to use other herbs because they just have so many different properties like just they're good all-purpose herbs and so I find myself turning to them over and over and then they are well all of them except for one it's food, so then it's really accessible to get. You don't have to wait about putting in some order or going to some special shop. It's right there in your grocery store or, you know, in the dollar store a lot of times. So, bay, my first herb. Bay is good for general protection. It's good for protection from jinxes, especially if you are working magic on someone else. Um... It breaks curses, it's good for exorcism, it's good for cleansing, it enhances your psychic abilities, it increases strength, and it's good for healing. So, so many good things, so many different things that you're going to use on a regular basis or so many different spells that um, really are foundational and you should be doing on a regular basis like your cleansing and your protection and, and healing who can't use healing and increasing your psychic abilities all of that you know are things that you'll be doing on a regular basis so next thing rose now i used to use this a lot a lot i still do it's still a go-to thing but i don't use it as much as i um did starting out um, rose is good for protection, it's good for raising your vibrations, it too increases your psychic abilities, it's uh, good for divination, for spirit communication, um, it's a good offering to spirits and deities, it's great for self-love and any love magic in general, and it attracts good luck, it's good for healing, and it removes love jinxes, so if you've um, seen my love on crossing oil that's why rose is in there um salt Ooh, blocking the thing hold on <laughs> salt salt is something i use pretty much in every single spell everything i make there's a pinch of salt in there somewhere um salt is like clear quartz and so you can use it for absolutely anything salt does what you tell it to do hold on y'all trying to get this hair right <laughs> stay okay sorry um salt does what you tell it to do so it's really all purpose it's you know really able to be programmed to absolutely anything so the sky's the limit um it can be used for healing, for protection, for cleansing. It can actually be used in baneful magic. It can, it can make situations and people salty. So, um, you know, like bring about tension and irritability and just, you know, turn. They can help turn a situation sour, basically. Um, it's good for remo removing jinxes. It can actually be used to draw money. Um and you can use it to drive your enemies away. Um, and it's for healing, if I didn't say that already. Rosemary. One, herb number four. <laughs> Rosemary is good for protection. Um, it's good for exorcism, for cleansing. So it's a really powerful cleanser, you know, if it's good enough for exorcism. Um, it gives women the upper hand. Uh, it's something... <laughs> I use often, um, especially if I'm doing like some love work, I'm going to uh, just, you know, work around the home, like a peaceful home, uh, dealing with my children. It'll give me the upper hand. Um, so it's good for that. It keeps your partner faithful. It's good for love magic, increasing lust and passion, um, increasing your mental powers. It's good for healing and it helps you sleep. 
So last, but absolutely not least, because I absolutely love cinnamon. Cinnamon is used, I use it just as much as salt. And it's used for protection, cleansing, um, boosting the power of your spells, um, speeding your spells along. Um, so they can manifest faster. It attracts good luck. Good fortune, money, love, it increases passion, lust, um, virility, it, um, it attracts success in general. It's um, a sun herb, and so sun is all about, you know, general success. It increases power in general, it's good for healing, it's for raising vibrations, and it can increase um, spirituality. So... Those are my top five herbs, y'all, and I'm going to throw in a bonus one, coffee, okay, because I like to use coffee to boost my spells um, and speed things along. Um, there are, you know, a million and one different types of coffee out there, um, so like the stronger the coffee I feel, the stronger the effects will be. Now, that could be, you know, different coffees for different people, you know what's strong to you might not be strong to the next person. So, um, you can always keep that in mind. Now it's good for grounding. It's good for, um, removing internal blockages. So, um, you know, it helps you get out of your own way. It removes negative, um, thoughts, negative emotions. It dispels nightmares and increases stam stamina. It encourages hard work for yourself and for spirits uh, working on your behalf. So it's like a little incentive um, for them. It's also um, good for breaking curses. Um, it's used for it's used as an offering. You can give it to your ancestors, deities, and things of that nature. Brew a cup of coffee and put that on your altar. Um, and it helps with. Um, Attracted peace of mind or establishing peace of mind. So that is it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.